Alright, now let's dress this up and finish this off nicely. So let's take this one, let's go into edit mode. What I'm going to do first is, let's go all the way up here, okay? I'm going to select all of these edges here. And I'll go into wireframe, I'll deselect these ones. I'll deselect these ones. Uh, I'll also select the one at the very top there. And I'll press X and dissolve those edges. I'll do the same thing here. Select the very one at the top and dissolve that one as well. So let's move back down here, okay? So I want to take, um, let me see, I want to take this one, I want to press G twice, I'll slide it down to about here, and I'll do the same thing over here, slide it down to about there, like that, I'll do the same thing over here, G twice, slide it down all the way, and let's take these two, let's move it out in the X axis a little bit like that, I think that should be good, just a little bit more, like that, now let's take this and we'll slide that down as well, to here, like this. So it goes all the way down, that is what we're going to do. Let me take this one and pull it out a little bit. I'll press G twice and slide it onto the on surface like that. I'll do the same thing with this one, pull it in this axis to here. Let me pull it here as well and a little bit in this axis like that. I'll take this one and I'll slide it down to here, slide this down to here. And I'll slide this down as well, slide this down like that. So you can see what I'm doing right now. So I'll take all of this, I'll pull it in this axis to this side, and slightly in the X, like that. Take it, I'll take this one and do the same thing with it, pull it inwards a little bit like that. Alright, so it's coming out really nicely. I'll just take this one and pull it in a little bit like that. Take this one, pull that one in a little bit as well. Alright, so it's looking good. I just have to pull these out. A little bit more, a little bit more in the y-axis like that. And I'll do the same thing with this one. Pull it in the y-axis, then in the x, all the way in there, like that. So it's coming out really nicely. I'll just press G twice and then C and slide this down all the way here. I don't know if that is a good idea. Let's move it instead. Okay, so I'll get into side view and I'll press G and I'll move it instead. Okay, all the way down to here. So that is where we're going to leave it. I'll pull it out in the X axis. So about here, like that. And what I want to do is, let me see. Let me take this one, pull it in the Y axis, uh, the X axis and pull it all the way there. I'll take this one, slide it back. And I'll slide this back as well. I'll slide this down. Slide this down. And I'll slide this inwards like that. I'll take, I'll take it and slide it back a little bit more and a little bit more inwards like that. And I'll take this one and pull it in the Y until it gets over there. So you can see what we have. I think that might be too much. So let's pull it out a little bit like that. Let's pull this out a little bit as well. Like that. And a little bit more in the X and then in the Y. Alright, so that is looking good. I think that's how I'm going to leave it. Now I'm going to take these two and press F twice to fill it in like that. Now I'll press Ctrl and R3 here. Press E and then F to align it with this side. And that is about it. So that is looking almost like it, but we can keep it like that. It's, it's, it's good enough. So now we can add in those extra loop cuts that we removed. So let's press Ctrl and R3 here, add in two loop cuts. And just zoom in right here. So. Select those two loop cuts now and press Alt and S. We're going to bulge it out just a little bit like that. So press Alt and S and bulge it out just a little bit like that. And that is looking good. So let's get back up here. And what we're going to do is let's join these vertices now. So take that two and press J to join it. And finally take this two and press J to join it. All right. So that finishes off the piece. It's looking good. Now all that we're going to do is we're going to fill in the faces for each and every single one of these uh, pieces. So let's begin with this one. Let's go into, uh, what do you call it? Local view. And let's zoom in right here. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, let me see, let me take these four, these four here and press F. And I'll take these two and press F all the way to the middle right here. So just press F all the way to the middle there. Now let's move on over here. Press Ctrl and R here, move it here, put one in the middle, do the same thing at the bottom, put one in the middle, and take these two, 
press F all the way to the top like that so that is looking good very good alright so let me just press Ctrl and R3 here and here I'll take both of those edge loops press G twice press E and then F and then align with that side now I'll take these two and press J to join it like that so that fills in that side let's do the same thing with these ones over here so let's go into edit mode I'm going to take these four and press F and I'll take these two and press F all the way to the back so just keep your hand on the F and fill in the whole faces hold on I think let me take a look at this side first let me zoom in here alright so I think it was fine it was fine so just press F and let it go all the way through to the back like that all the way to the back like that so with that done I'm now going to press Ctrl and R through here let me let me go over here first so I'll zoom in to the side I'll press Ctrl and R through here move it up here put one in the middle do the same thing down here put one in the middle now take these two and press F all the way to the top press Ctrl and R through here take both of them press G twice and press oh, let's just move it close to this side like that now take these two and press J to join it let's make sure that went through very nicely so as you can see it went through very nicely all the way to the back alright that is looking good so the final one let's get out of the local view so you can see that is sitting on it very nicely right there yes yeah, so that is sitting on it nicely it's not intersecting so that is good let's get in here and let's see if we can fill in this one as well I don't know if it's going to be possible but we might as well try so let's see uh, let's take this might be a little bit challenging let's go down here let's begin down here first so let me go down here and I will take let's take okay let's take these four and press F and I'll take these two and press F one once and take these two now we'll press F all the way to the top about here alright so I think that should be good unless I'm wrong and then let's go into the side I'll take these two no I'll take one two three hold up one two three four and press F and I'll take these two and press F once, F twice, and F again to fill it in all the way to that side. Press F again. No, hold on. That is not good. So let me just put. I'm not sure. Should we put in three? Okay, it goes all the way to the other side, which isn't good. So we might as well merge it somewhere around here. So let me move down here real quick. And. Let me let me take this to press H to hide it. And I'll add in three loop cuts like that. I'll press Alt and H like this. I'll take these two and press J. And I'll take these two and press J. I'll take these two now and press J like that. So that should be good. Now let's go back up here. Let's zoom in real quick. Alright, so with that, uh I'll press Ctrl and R through here. Press E and then F align it with this side. I'll take these two, press Alt M and choose at center. And I'll probably do the same thing over here. But first, let me fill in these ones. So press F, press Ctrl and R. No, not there. Here. E and then F align it with that side. And let me see. If I take these two and press F, yeah, that is nice. Let me just know. Yeah, take this one, press G twice, and we'll just slide it out a little bit like that. So with that done, let's take one, two, three, four, and press F. And take these two and press F twice to fill it in like that. So I'm just gonna press Ctrl and R through here, press E to align it with the top, put one more in the middle like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here. No. So I'll just put let me see. I'll just knife it instead. So I'll press the knife tool and cut it all the way to here like that I'll take this one and slide it down to here I'll do the same thing on this side so let me just slide this down to here and I'll use the knife tool 
and cut it from here to there. Nice. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna move up here, take these two and press F all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Press F all the way to the bottom, like that. So with that, I'm gonna press Ctrl and R through here, press E to align it with this side to sharpen it even more. I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. Press E to sharpen it with that one also more. So I'll just press Ctrl and R through here and through here. Take this two, press G twice and slide it all the way to the very edge like that. Now I'll take these two, just like we did with the others and press J to join it like that. All right, so that piece is done. And I'm pretty sure that does it for this whole piece. So let's get out of local view. Let's see how that looks. All right, it's looking great. It's looking really good. Nice. So this is where I will end the video. But first, let me let me rename this. Let me see. Um, so I think the modifiers are basically the same things. So we should be able to join these two. So I'll take this and then now and press Control and J to join it, like that. And now we can name, I mean, we can rename this. But first, let's move it into the main meshes. I think it was already in there. Yeah. Now let's rename this by clicking here and changing the name to, uh, what do I call it? Uh, I'm just going to call it the, uh, I don't know, ledge, just like we called it in the title. So we'll just call it the ledge. Or let me call it body ledge. So body body ledge like that yeah, I think that will be best alright so this is where I'll end the video as you can see this is looking good so in the next video we'll be making the roof and from there we'll just move on into making the other parts so I'll see you guys in the next video